Hey, good morning and welcome to Your Vote Counts. I'm Scott Mitchell with John Eccles and Jason Dunnington and the special session in Oklahoma. We'll get to Washington in just a minute, but the special session in Oklahoma, one and done. So what did happen? Yeah, well, for the second straight year, special session only lasted for a couple of days. This year, the Senate basically came in and then immediately uh, moved to sine die, which was they moved to end special session on their end, meaning that had the House run any bills, um, there wouldn't be a Senate to take them up, which means that it couldn't go to the governor for signature. I think what we've learned from the public standpoint is that if we're going to do tax reform, and I believe that there are a lot of Oklahomans that would like to see that, uh, both Democrats and Republicans. But if we're going to do tax reform, let's do it during regular session when we have a four month period to build up for a plan and then execute that plan. Let's not just throw something together in a 48 hour period and see if it works. You've been consistent on that. The Senate wanted the governor there. He did not show up. And I think most people are wondering just exactly why that there was a special session. Yeah. So I I will back up. I want to be clear in my opinion. We should cut taxes. We have $4 billion in savings. You deserve more of your money for inflation relief, and we shouldn't wait till next session. That's an entire another tax year before you get any relief. If we were to do it this session, this special session, we could get help. The House is ready, wants to do that. Now, that being said, I understand why the Senate did what they did. Uh, they wanted the governor to come down and talk to their, talk to their uh, appropriations committee. They wanted more of a plan. I get the move that they made, and I can't fault the Senate for that. Now, with that being said, here's what I can fault the entire legislature for, all of us. We've got to find a way to get tax relief. I don't think we should wait till regular session. If I'm forced to, that's what I'll do. But that's just kicking the can down the road while our constituents are hurting right now. Okay, a couple of times this week, it was at Joe Dorman's OICA event this week, Jeff Dismukes, his mental health advocacy group th the other night, and everybody's coming up to me and saying, what? is next. I mean, what's happening? Special sessions, everybody's confused. Can you help us out? So here's what I think is next. I think the House has a wonderful leader in Charles McCall. I think the Senate has an incredible leader in pro tem Greg Treat, and I think the governor is right on tax cuts. What has to be next is for the good of all Oklahomans, we have to come together. I've thrown out on this show very directly an idea, 0.25% tax cut, sunset the same after three years, let's go in, pass it, get it done, get it done this relief. But I would settle for any number of things. I would settle for any type of tax refund. What we have to have is leaders who are really, really good people come together and find a way to get this done. The House is ready. I believe the Senate wants to do it. So we've got to find a way to have that happen. And I'm still going to call for it needs to happen before session this tax year. Okay, we need to do a deep dive on those tax cuts. But you said something interesting. Oklahoma has a House Speaker, by the way. We'll get into that in just a minute. Your thoughts about what's next? Well, look, when we talk about tax cuts, what we're really talking about is politics. And I think the politics of tax cuts right now is something that the Republican Party can't figure out. But what we should do in the meantime is do a rebate. Rebate is a policy. I think everyone agrees that we have taken too much of Oklahomans' money and they should have it back. So instead of talking about tax cuts, let's talk about in inflation relief. We can do that through a rebate. The legislature should look at doing a one-time rebate, give people some of their money back. That will help them in grocery stores, that'll help them at the gas pump, and let's get past this tax cut politics conversation. Okay, coming up, do you remember the movie where the line was a stupid and futile gesture is needed? Yeah, we're talking Washington next when we come back.